Kaner Universe, it's Kaner Tip Tuesday, and today we're following up on the Great Kane Debate. Wood or metal, which one is better? And a warm welcome to those of you who are here for the first time. I'm Joe Robina of American Kane Self-Defense. And hey, you got a couple of free resources here. Before you do any of that, if you like the content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you don't miss any future content. Avail yourself of those two free resources. The most important one is the no-cost Kane Clarity Call, where you text the letter CCC to the number on the screen. And in less than 24 hours, we'll be on a conversation with you. We actually uh, schedule it so that we can um, you can have our undivided attention and make sure that we're able to answer all your questions regarding um, getting cane trained, anything regarding canes, and anything regarding the cane culture in general. And then you have a couple of um, uh, groups on, on Facebook that are open to the, to the public. They're private groups, but all you have to do is request entry and they'll let you right in. So, you know, right along with heavy or light, which one is right? There's also then the cane debate of what do you prefer, wood or metal? Which one is better? Well, better needs to be better for what? For self-protection is usually it and, and, you know, durability and all that. So let's start off with woods. And um, the majority of the canes out there today are made of wood and you have a variety of woods, right? The, the two main hardwoods are either gonna be oak and you have so many species of oak and um, you have hickory and then you have hickory heart, which is even harder. But in general, in general, advantages of wood. And this, by the way, that I'm holding here, this is a, a crimson spinner. Excel, very nice. Look at the red, you know, crimson color on it, and, and then we're going to get into that. But um, there, the, the main thing with wood is the versatility of it, right? You have so many more models uh, with wood than you do with metal. And um, as far as the ACSD line goes, you know, we introduced a lot of these concepts, including the concept of hybrids, as I've mentioned before, which is a combination of a cane that was designed for ease of use, easy handling. It's not real heavy on the wrist, on board, but it has all you know the the, the self protection features that you might want on, on there. Uh, as far as you know, which wood to go to, that's going to be something very very personal, and and you got to see what's available. The one thing I do want you to know is that no two wooden canes, even though they are the same model, they're not going to have uh, the ex they're not going to look identical. They're not going to look like twins most of the time. Okay, and so the wood that is available has a lot to do with that. Uh, right up there with the uh, versatility of it is the the look of the cane is a lot nicer because you can have this in a variety of colors. You can have them stained in a variety of colors and so on and so forth. You can also do that with metal, but you're going to get a lot more versatility out of this. Also, the feel that there's something about, well, this comes from a tree, <laughs> you know, and there, there, there's something, you know, caners connect uh, with that and just the overall feel. Uh, a lot easier also to, to put on some of the features um, that are going to go in here, including palm rests, right, that you can have on there. See, um, this is another hybrid. This is our uh, Silent Night XL, uh, you know, very easy to handle. Beautiful. These canes are beautiful. So you can, in a wooden cane, get that combination of the ease of use and still have something that can withstand impact, okay? So those are the advantages essentially for wood. <clears throat> when it comes to metal, and this is the Raven, right? This is what we manufacture in here. And there's, uh, obviously I'm gonna be biased to this. And it, when people ask what's the difference or what's the main advantage of the Raven, over you know other models that are out there and we took a look at what was out there as a matter of fact the raven is the result of picking up the shortcomings of those uh, metal canes is essentially this was put together by yours truly meaning a caner a caner is putting that together in other words in, an individual who actually trains and is this is this is the craft this is what we do it's not a, a gun guy or a knife guy uh, putting this together and hey it's a good concept on paper um, no it, it from a functional perspective. Now, two main advantages um, that uh, the metal, this aircraft grade 
aluminum has over wood. Number one, it will not crack under duress. Uh, the most that'll happen with something like this is it, it'll bend. I mean, if you go out there and you're trying to prove that you get, that's not the purpose of, of the tool, but who cares? Uh, you can still be effective with a bent tool, whereas, you know, especially if you're using our PowerShop template, you're still going to be effective with this, whether it bends or not. Uh, something like this, once it cracks, uh, it weakens the, the wood, and we've tested it anywhere between two to four power shots before you're going to render a wooden cane useless. Uh, the other main advantage that it has is you're never going to have to oil it, obviously, because it's it's metal. And so, and I've heard all kinds of things. Um, and by the way, um, if you're not familiar with oiling is the lifeblood of wooden canes, I don't care you know, how it comes, uh, you know, it, but depending on the use, uh, you know, where you keep it, the extreme temperatures, if you have it in a, in a vehicle that's very hot and you keep it there on a regular basis, which we don't recommend, uh, sooner or later, you're going to have to oil uh, a wooden cane to maintain the integrity. That's the food, the nutrition of the cane. And obviously, with something like this, you don't have that issue. And I want to dispel two myths regarding this and uh, metal canes, and that is that you won't get them past security because it raises an eyebrow. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, we've tested this over and over and over, and we've gotten through airport security with two of these because they're medical device, just like this is. The fact that it's metal, is that's irrelevant at this. Um, and that is, you know, from the trenches. Uh, the number one thing that uh, attracts attention to a cane or raises an eyebrow is the way you uh, the, the cane or the individual who's walking with this cane handles it. And so if you're going in there uh, with anything other than having that tip touching the floor of the cane, then you're raising an eyebrow. But the fact that his metal does not, uh, this is still, even with all the innovations in wood, our top uh, seller. Um, but when it comes right down to it and uh, focus in on here, don't miss this. The answer, my answer to um, which is better, wood or metal, for your cane, the answer is training. <laughs> training, and that shouldn't be a shocker to you guys. It doesn't matter to me whether it's this, the, you know, that we have an extensive collection of these are super nice canes, or you own one of these, um, you're always going to be limited to what you can do with that cane uh, based on what your training allows uh, you to do. Uh, yeah, the fact that it's heavier, it's lighter, there are uses, and it's going to be something very personal. Here's another little secret that I'll let you in on. Some of you have already figured this out. Much like a firearms enthusiast, I mean, the same thing, I, my understanding is I don't golf, but I hear it's the same with golf clubs. Uh, if and when you get bit by the cane bug, you're never just going to own one. That is a lie. And uh, that's just part of the culture, okay? But if you wanna have a conversation, say, this is where I am in this, my stage of training, you know, what do you recommend? We can have that and we'll take you through some questions to come uh, to that. Uh, but uh, again, the answer <laughs> to what do I go with is gonna be training, right? So, so don't put this in front of that fact. You got your, your training, you, you, you have your training, you, you're doing something, you have a plan for that, then go ahead. And just because at the end of the day, I, I always say it, um, it's it's about the, the caner makes that cane, right? The cane in and of itself is, is a tool, right? You can tell them, go sick them, uh, you know, go ahead, dance, move. Uh, you're not going to get the, the benefit of that unless you're connected to this and you have the skill set to do that. And that's just obvious. All right. So if you have a want to have a conversation uh, on that, then go ahead and reach out to us. Um, text is really the best way to do it. Schedule your call so that you can always call the 800 number, 800-289-8188. And yes, in this day and age, we still, I answer the phones um, uh, quite often, uh, but you can go ahead and schedule your call by texting the letter CCC to the number on the screen. And we're just always excited to, to talk to you and, and have conversations and learn how we can serve you best. I'm Joe Robina for American Cane Self-Defense. You know, choose your cane wisely. Choose your train even be wiser even about that, but whether it be heavy, light, um, wood, or metal, the answer is training. <laughs> All right, be blessed. Get cane.